Uh, my name is Johnny Torres. Um, we're here at my shop in Hutchison, Kansas. Um, this is my uh, 50 Plymouth. I was wanting a uh, Fastback. Um, I seen a Doug Shoemaker at a 49 Chevy Fastback that was chopped, it was yellow. I'm not sure where I seen it. I seen it at a show one year and I just wanted a Fastback. So I was looking online and stuff and I was just looking for one and I came across this on eBay. You know, it was probably 10 years ago. And I seen this on there and it was, there was like maybe like 10 minutes left to the auction was over. And I, it, was, it was ugly. These cars were really ugly. The back ends were like real tall and it wasn't like a Chevy, but right. it was, you know, it was a fastback. So I printed a picture off of it and I cut it up to see what it would look like. And I was like, all right, there's like 10 minutes. So I was like, all right, uh, it'll work. And I bought it for $800. It was up in um, Washington, Kansas, um, border of Kansas and Nebraska. So I bought it and um, me and a buddy road tripped over there and, and got it and it was sitting out in the field and had the original six cylinder in it and um, was it drivable at that point in time or just... no and the motor turned o turned over and everything so okay. when we got it back i took it to my dad's little shop and um rebuilt the carburetor and the brakes and everything and it started up and i drove it around like that for a while it was all rusted and rockers were gone floors were gone <laughs> um but yeah i drove it around like that for probably now, oh, a few months. So what was the first thing you did once you had it running to start the customization mm, process? I think you... before I even had it started running, I think I lowered the back end on it. Okay. Um, I lowered it and got new tires, obviously, and then um, got it running and drove it. Because I bought some white walls and chrome wheels, steel wheels for it. Yeah. And I think the those were more than what I paid for the car. So, <laughs> mm. so what drivetrain is it now? Uh, it has a 350. All came out of a 80 Chevy Malibu. Okay. I think that we bought from a guy across the street, and uh, we took everything out of it and put it in here. Is that all the way back to the rear end? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's got a pretty cool sound to it for a 350. It yeah. didn't sound like a normal. Yeah. I don't know what you got going for exhaust on there. Uh, ten foot of pipe. Yeah. There's and no. Then the fishtails maybe they throw yeah. a little different sound. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what? How is the car lowered? No, uh, just blocks and then front end. Uh, I did the whole Fat Man. Um, okay. Whole kit from them, for, especially for the car. Yeah, disc brakes and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. cool. Well, it, it is a driver. I mean, I've seen pictures of you it's going through the mountains on the way out to California. I don't know how many times it's been out there. But, uh, yeah. Gone a few times at least. Yeah, we, I went every year, and I mean, there was a couple years where I drove it a couple times and back and forth from California, and then. Um, one year when I drove it out down to Austin, and then from Austin, I drove it out to California. Cool. And I painted it in 2010. Okay, so far, well, yeah, five years now. Yeah, drove back from Santa Maria, and I decided I was going to paint it in Santa Maria. I was like, when I get home, I'm going to tear it apart, get it ready, have my dad spray it, and drive it to Salina. So I got back, like, from Santa Maria July, like, like right before July 4th, tore it apart completely, everything, windows, everything, sanded it down, and everything, my dad sprayed it for me, and I had it back together like a couple of days before Salina, I drove it. And Salina's the last weekend of July, so that's a pretty quick turnaround. Yeah, like I think we had like two and a half, three weeks. Nice. And I had that same year, I think the reason why I decided to paint it is because on the way out there, I had a freaking a giant pheasant, nailed the front of it, I didn't know what it was, when I got out of the car, there's just a big bird hanging in my, <laughs> my uh, right below my headlight. Oh crap! Cracked the paint and all that crap. I grew up in my dad's body shop. My dad did paint and body work for years, and grew up in there. He was never really into. Uh, I mean, he liked cars. He was never into. He was more of a motorcycle, more into motorcycles. He was huge into motorcycles. Actually, building motorcycles in our bedrooms and stuff when we were little. <laughs> um, I like motorcycles, but I'm into cars a lot more. And um, I grew up around the fields. You know, they lived right around the corner from me. And growing up around them, you know, Bondo had cars, you know, all the time out there. And you know, watching him do it, and I just, I liked it. Yeah. So, what all body-wise has been done to the car? Um, I mean, chopped, obviously. Chopped the top, handles, um, put those 
59 catalytic catalytes in it. Um, Smooth the fenders to the body. Yeah, and welded the fenders to the body. The tag, obviously. Um, seam on the welded the hood shut. Right. Uh, of course, you got the spots on it. The dash is uh, 59 Chevy dash. 59 Chevy dash. Yeah. And it's, it's just the, the cluster area, or it's the whole, yeah, it's the whole dash. Well, just half the dash. Half just the this dash. part of it is the actual 59. Because originally I bought it, we bought the dash out of the junkyard, and we were just going to put the um, gauge clusters in there. Yeah. Weld them to the original dash. Well, that wasn't going to work, so we ended up doing that, putting the whole dash in there. Looks cool. Who did the striping on the dash? Uh, Jed McGregor. Okay. Yeah. So, is there anything left to do to the car for you, or are you kind of just happy with where it is and you're just driving it? I don't know, I'm just driving it, but, I mean, probably redo the interior in it. That's one of the things I want to redo. Right. Interior sometime. And folks should know, you are, that's it, that is what this shop is, a upholstery shop. You're an interior man, so I'm, I'm sure you'll never be 100% mm -hmm. satisfied with what's in there. You'll yeah. decide to change it, learn some new trick or something you want to try. And yeah, I always do something. I'm mess with, change something on it. I'm sure. Right. I do want to. I want to chrome all the gauge cluster and cover the dash. So. What has you? There's another car back behind that you can't see here. That's a 41 Chevy. Yeah. Is it just uh, time to start working on something else? You kind of had this to where you want it and just wanted another project. Yeah, pretty. I want something else to drive. Yeah. You know, I've driven this nonstop for a long time. Just give it a little rest and get yeah. something else out there. Yeah. Ready to drive another one. Right. Well, thanks for letting me uh, come and take up your time on this chilly-ass Sunday. And uh, we'll put this out on Motor Nation as quickly as we can get it out to the folks. Is there anything you want to say to everybody out there? Drive your car. Drive your <laughs> car. Don't trailer to Austin like I did mine last year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Johnny. And uh, we'll uh, close this out with a little video of the car driving away, I think, here. So.